Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. It's important as well. That is system of record versus single source of truth. Now why we are discussing about this topic? If you are somebody from an enterprise application background, then you might be knowing the difficulty about sourcing the data. There are so many applications and the data is scattered across. And none of these different sources giving the complete picture of the data. And yet at other times, you might find duplicates in the data. Like all these applications having the same data repeated over. But they may not be matching up. They may not be adding up and in conflict with each other. So by knowing these terminologies, we can have a better data governance in an enterprise application. So let's take the example of hospital management system. And here, let's focus on the patient's data. So the patient's data can be present in different subsystem within the hospital management system. For instance, all the X-ray and scan reports would be present in the radiology system. And this system would be maintaining a database where these reports would be present. And yet all the pharmacy related information, the medicine reports would be present in the pharmacy system. And yet there would be other systems like admission, lab and admin, which will be keeping its own record for their own set of attributes for the patient. So all the system maintain their own system of record. Now talk about what exactly system of record physically looks like. So system of record physically can represent by a database. It can be represented by a cache or at times by cloud storage or a file system. But loosely or logically, we say a system of record to be the governing application. For instance, in the last example pertaining to the patient in hospital management system, it was the radiology software which was governing the data related to radi radiology reports and x-rays and things like that. And that is where it would be the system of record for radiology report. And similarly, pharmacy software would be the system of record for pharmacy related reports and data. We will come to a formal definition of system of record. A system of record can be formally be defined as the authoritative data source for a given data element or piece of information. In other words, it represents the data object along with its different attribute in a repository and the maintenance of the same. When I say maintenance, it represents the CRED operation, meaning create, read, update and delete on the data object. To make things clearer, let's take another example. Let's take the example of a product in a manufacturing company. So the item or product is initially born in a PLM software, which is the product lifecycle management software within the organization or the enterprise. And this is where the initial set of attributes of the product are stored. As the product evolves further, as a part of the enterprise resource planning, some more attributes can get added to the product. And yet further when customer relationship management comes into picture, more attributes gets added to the product. And yes, you can take the example of transport management when the product gets attached with some more attributes. So as you see, each of the system represents some attributes of the product and each uh, of the system maintains within itself the system of record for those attributes. What exactly is a single source of truth? So single source of truth is the practice of structuring information and associated data schema such that every data element is mastered in only one place. That is, single source of truth is the data source which gives the complete information about the object. And we are maintaining the object at a single place. That is, we are editing, updating the data at a single place within an organization. Understand single source of truth. Let's go back to the same example which we discussed while discussing the system of record. That is the patient information system or the hospital management system. Let's talk about patient. So patient has all the data aggregated 
you know, scattered across into different systems like radiology, pharmacy, admission lab and admin. Each of the system maintaining some attributes of the patient which are unique to them. Now let's assume that we have a patient DB and now our patient service is able to aggregate all the data from the different system like from radiology, pharmacy and other department and can represent the data as a whole at a single place. That is what we call a single source of truth because this patient DB can now really be trusted because it has all the aggregated data with it. And this should be the data which our, our analytics and business related platforms sh should rely upon. So guys, now we have our single source of truth and now we can actually make use of single source of truth for our enterprise uh, related decisions. We can make use of single source of truth for data integration needs with other business application. We can make use of this source of truth for our data analytics requirements and also to drive the business decision because the single source of truth represents the trusted source of data because it has all the attributes for the data under consideration. So as in a complex enterprise world, it's very difficult to find the true source of data because there's so many applications running, each having a different data set. So it's very difficult to source the true source of data. So that is why single source of data is very important. And to solve this problem of single source of data, there are so many different products which tries to facilitate the single source of data uh, pattern. So one of those is master data management. And of course, there are a few other like data warehouse, enterprise service bus and service oriented architecture. All these tries to facilitate the single source of truth data model. So guys, now you can appreciate why exactly single source of truth is so important. And what is the importance of this terminology that system of record and single source of truth in an enterprise world? So if you really like this video, do share this video with your friends and your near and dear and do subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys.